Tom. I just want to say hey. Hey! i tell you a little bit about myself. I know Tamara told y'all a little bit about myself, but I wanted to tell you that I've been out of the jazz scene for like five years. And I decided to come back in a big way and do it properly this time. Sometimes you gotta take some, some time off and do some introspection and learn about yourself, right? Because how can I give myself to you if I don't know me? So I took some time to do that. And um, the catalyst for that was my college professor passed away. And he was the first guy to get me up in front of a big band, the big spender, Shega de Sazaji, all that stuff. And um, so I'm here to honor his memory tonight. The show is for you, Dr. B. Waiting for 
Um, I always love playing with the Velvet Note. I want to give a couple thank yous real quick. I want to say thank you to Tamara for seeing me and inviting me to grace the stage for y'all. Thank you, Tamara. And thanks to these guys back here because I wouldn't be doing anything without these guys. On the guitar, I got Micah Cadwell. <laughs> On the kit, I got Steve McCraw. <laughs> I got Greg Shawback Shaw slapping the bass. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, the Mr. Randy Hexter. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Well, this song that we're gonna do, this is in honor of Micah's socks. If you haven't seen them yet, they are of blue skies. Yeah, it's, it's, the socks actually came first. Irving sends me a little kickback. I get a little kickback from the Berlin estate. Pays for all my sock wear. Tonight. 
as my parents came up from Palm Beach to see me sing. And my dad introduced me to Jamie Cullum, although I didn't actually like Jamie Cullum at the time. It took about uh, another 15 years for me to warm up to that. But he's wonderful, he's a wonderful artist, and he does, uh, he does a lot of jazz renditions of pop songs and some jazz songs and some musical theater pieces. And this one is actually a Rihanna cover. I'm not gonna tell you what it is though, you know. <laughs> It's getting late I'm making my way over to 
enjoyed that. <laughs> We're gonna slow it down a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna energy down a little bit. That was a lot. <laughs> Sheila, baby, can you bring me a water bottle, please? Y'all, let me introduce your bartenders tonight. Sheila and Shayla. I know, I think you. Woo! They're gonna keep you watered and fed, so, you know, tip them. say thank you to my mother, not only because she birthed me, she gets credit for that, full credit, but, right, thank you for that, <laughs> um, but also, when I was, I don't know, 16, 15, 16, my mom put me in the jazz camp, she was like, oh my gosh, you're doing jazz camp, and I still didn't like jazz yet, it took, it took quite a few years to get me. I feel like jazz is like, you understand it better the more life you live. Yeah. Randy doesn't understand anything. Thank you. 
Mark Thirst, though. <laughs>
you guys. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do a spin on a classic. This one's called Fly Me to the Moon.
actually too low now, because that the lower you curtsy, like it's like peasant. There's like peasant curtsy. And then like you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, so one time, <laughs> so one time I came here to open mic, and I sang "Moaning." That was like my song for a second, you know. I was just starting, and didn't have a huge repertoire that I was comfortable. You know, jams are weird. So I'm classically, I'm a classically trained vocalist. So like coming, transitioning into jazz was very strange because you know when you sing classically, you sit, you stand like this, and you. <laughs> What you see today is a culmination of like a decade worth of work and fears overcome and all that jazz. But anyways, I say all this to say, I sang Monin one night and um, this couple might be here tonight. They came up to me afterwards and offered me faith-based counseling. <laughs> <laughs> because I think I sang Monin a little too convincingly. <laughs> so we're gonna try it again. Every morning I am morning. 
some awesome solos, weren't they? <laughs> Randy and Michael, y'all killed it. Yeah. All right, oh, the lights are coming back on. All right, I think we got one more song. One more song? Yeah. One more song. Yeah, one more. Yes. All right, we're gonna, y'all like reggae? This one's yes! Going to
joining us tonight. We loved having you. We'd love to have you again. You can find all of our upcoming shows at thevelvetnote.com, including April 12th and 13th, the great entertainer Tony Hightower will be here for a two-night run. So get those tickets. I think you'll enjoy that show. This, this guy over here is from Alpharetta Convention and Visitors Bureau, trying to spread the word about this place. So don't be shy. Smile if you'd like. If you're on a date you're not supposed to be on, you can race out the back door. <laughs> This is what we love to do, which is to bring you closer to artists who inspire you. Closer to each other and closer to the song that's in your heart. On behalf of JB, Sheila, Shayla, Trey, Justin, and Chef Makai Jones, come back and see us again. Good night.
Sorry, where did you do the do jazz standard at the jazz show? Yeah? You guys like jazz? You guys like jazz? Yes. Yes. <laughs> this one's called All of Me. It's not the John Legend song. <laughs>
just fed this one a cappella. Love makes me treat you the way that I do. Gee, baby, ain't I good to you?
Oh, y'all like that one. Yeah. This one's in honor of the weather we've been having this weekend. Beautiful weather, right? I mean, if you like it warm. My family's from the island, so if you like it warm, you like it a little spicy. <laughs> What's up, one?
Oh, oh, oh. 
to a faith-based counseling service. So I think I was a little too convincing. I wasn't that troubled. But I always appreciate help. Every evening finds me moaning I'm alone
Um, thank y'all so much for coming out. Thank you so much for selling out my show, supporting live music and jazz, supporting black-owned businesses. Okay, all right. Black woman-owned businesses. Yes, that one. All right. Yes. Okay. So this one, we're gonna. You like reggae? Definitely, yes, over here, yes.